Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're going to talk a little bit about the differences between the different receivers and controllers and computers and how they all work together. And the reason I want to get into this kind of detail is because I was asked a question today that kind of demonstrated that this information needs to get out there. So come back after the break and let's talk a little bit about the differences between a stabilizer, a computer, an all-in-one unit, and how they all work together and what you might need if you're interested in adding stabilization to your plane. All right, I've been in the process of migrating my twin star over to a stabilizer and I'm using one of the Detrim stabilizers that Bitco Hobby sent me because it's a good stabilizer and, and the, the iStone stabilizer system works really well. Now on this particular plane though, I'm not migrating over to their radio. So I was talking to somebody today about this. Now I don't want, I'm not gonna mention any names, but I was talking to somebody today about this and there was some absolute confusion about when you use different radio receivers versus a stabilizer versus a flight controller. So I thought we'd spend, before I go through the install on this thing and, and while I explain how this is gonna work, I thought we'd spend a couple minutes just talking about the different elements so that we can all understand how these things work together, okay? Okay, so this receiver, this is a FR Sky D8R Plus. I've used this in plenty of my airplanes. I've used this in, in different different airplanes that I've had over time. And this is just a basic receiver. Now this receiver requires the use of an FR Sky transmitter in order to bind. It's an FR Sky receiver, FR Sky transmitter. They use ACCST as the protocol. In order for this receiver to receive commands from the ground, you have to use a transmitter that's compatible with it. So this is just a standard eight channel receiver, that's it. There's no stabilization, no gyros, no accelerometers, no flight computer, no nothing, standard receiver. Everyone should be familiar with these. I know that with Spectrum and, and some of the Horizon stuff, you got that bind and fly AS3X business. Uh, this isn't any of that. This is just a plain vanilla receiver, okay? And by the way, that's the same thing that I've got in the Twin Star right here, that's a plain vanilla receiver. All right, next up, this is one of the early stabilizers. This is a Turnigy Aerostar. This is one of my early videos on the channel when I made this, when I first started getting into stabilizers in fixed wings. This is one of the first ones that I used and I, I bought a stack of them because they were selling them for like 10 bucks. So I bought a bunch of them. I did a video on how to install them and they work great. They're, they're decent little stabilizers. Uh, they're a little bit odd to set up. They've got these dip switches and and dials that you have to tune with the screwdriver to get them the way you want them. But they're decent little stabilizers, no problems with them. They're very effective. Now, you take a standard receiver, a pulse width modulated receiver, and connect it to a pulse width modulated stabilizer, and the stabilizer would perform those functions of wind rejection and safe mode, okay? Now, I'm not talking about SBUS yet. We'll get into that later. Next up is the addition of more of a flight computer and what I mean by that is this is this is the Detrim Z3. This flight this is a flight computer or flight controller and the reason I'll refer to it that way is because this actually has a GPS that connects to it just like that SR86A that I did the video on this gets a GPS puck attachment right here and when you hit return to home this this unit this flight controller will navigate your airplane back to the home point and it'll do it straight and level while managing throttle. So this is a full on, I, I consider this a smart device. Stabilizers, they won't do that. If, if you lose control of your plane, you can flip the chicken switch and it'll flatten the plane out, but the plane will keep flying away. You're not gonna get any help from this getting your airplane back. It'll, it'll help keep it flat and straight and level if it's tuned correctly, but it's not gonna bring your airplane back. These, are, these flight computers with the GPS pucks, this will bring your airplane back, just like a drone. It'll, it'll fly the airplane back to its home point, and they'll normally loiter 50 meter, in this case, a 50 meter radius from the home point over 
your head at a, at a pre-configured altitude. There are much more advanced flight computers in this one, like the Eagle Tree Vector. They're a lot more expensive too, but they do crazy things. They do voltage, amperage, distance from home, altitude, airspeed, ground speed, uh, in in flight gain tuning. I mean, it's ridiculous. They they do they're they're full on. Uh, it's it, they really support autonomous flight is what they do um, so that's not this this is a basic flight controller or a flight computer if this, this will get your airplane back home for you okay now with one of these you also pair that up with a receiver this is not a receiver notice there's no antennas that's a good tell actually that's a really good tell there's no antenna on this so it will not receive signals from the ground. You need a receiver to receive signals from the ground, and then you feed the output of your receiver to the input of this flight computer or, or stabilizer. Okay, much like the Z3, I'm installing, I'm in the process of installing, I don't, I'm, this is gonna be really hard to get on film correctly, but I'm in the process of installing an iStone V2 stabilizer in my Twinstar. That's all this is, is a stabilizer, nothing else. It doesn't have a GPS. It won't return to home, but it will stabilize the plane. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to leave an FR Sky radio receiver in this plane. So this is just a basic standalone stabilizer. No radio, no antennas. You can use one of these with any other radio you have, any other receiver you have. Now, that said, I wouldn't recommend combining this with an integrated stabilize, stabilizer system like an AS3X. That'd probably be a bad call. You don't want two devices fighting for control of the plane. This stabilizer is going to get configured and paired with a very basic non-stabilized FR Sky S bus receiver. That's, how, that's what I'm going to use it for. Okay, now finally, the last step in all of this is these these are the direction forward okay let's be clear about this this is the direction forward this is a detrum sr86a-g this is the unit that i put in the millennium master this has integrated an integrated flight computer an integrated gps integrated stabilization and an integrated receiver notice the antenna whiskers so if you see antennas that means this can receive commands from the ground one of the things I really like about this is the fact that it's a fully integrated unit. It's very easy to install. You just basically put your aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, and a mode switch on here. You connect your GPS and you're done. You just configure this like any other radio. And then if you have something like the Detrim Blitz DT9, like this guy, you can configure your servo throws, your gain, and everything else right from the radio. That's one of the reasons I like the system so much is because it's fully integrated. You don't need any program cards. You don't need any external hardware, no drivers, no software. You simply put this guy in your plane. You configure it from the radio with, with no extra hardware, wires, or anything else required. Now, the key thing about this, though, is that if you're going to use this SR, don't go buy this SR86A unless you own a Detrim radio because this uses the, the Detrim protocol. I forget the name of it. It escapes me. They call it FH. It's right here. FHSS and DSSS. Uh, those are just frequency hopping spectrums, but it is proprietary to Detrim. You can't use this receiver with an FR Sky radio. And that's the big crux of the thing. Don't make that mistake and think, oh, well, I'm going to get an integrated... Uh, integrated computer like the SR86A-G and I'm gonna put that in my plane and I'm gonna be good to go because you're not not unless you have one of these transmitters okay you have to have this transmitter the wires the antenna wires tell tell the story okay if you're gonna buy a Detrim product or any other computer that's got wires on it you probably need the transmitter that goes with that product okay so super nice super convenient solution because everything's integrated and you can figure this right from the radio i like this a lot and it is absolutely the way forward when i did the s bus video somebody asked a question like well why would you choose s bus uh on a standard receiver and a standalone stabilizer over say just an sr s s6r and the answer is normally you won't but if you don't want to go back and retrofit all of your planes receivers with a new receiver, then you can just simply add 
a stabilizer only option. You don't have to add the, you don't have to add a, a, f a full receiver and stabilizer. You can just buy stabilizer only. Okay, so I hope that clears things up, guys, on the differences between the different types of options you have. And there are a lot of options. There, there's the, you know, just to recap this real quick. There's the standalone receiver. This is an RX only, no smarts in this at all. Then there's a standalone stabilizer, and that's something like this Aerostar or the iStone V2. Those are basically, they're similar. There are some differences in that this is a six axis and this is only a three axis. That's a topic for another, another video though. But fundamentally, they're the same type of device. And then the next step up would be something like this Z3, the Detrim Z3, which is a flight computer. This can be used with any SBUS or standard PWM receiver you've got. It can go with the first key, it can go with this first key, it can go with this SBUS, it can use any of those. And it can also use the Detrim, not this one, because this has stabilization built in. You wouldn't mix these two up. All right, and then the last one, and this is, these I think are the granddaddy right now. These are the ones to get. If you're needing uh, equipment like this, like a stabilizer or a flight, com flight computer, this is the one to get. Uh, any integrated model that's got GPS return to home and stabilization and it integrates with the receiver, that's the one I would buy going forward. If I wanted return to home in my plane, if I don't want to spend that kind of money, I can step down a little bit to a simply a stabilized receiver like the MSR66A or the S6R from Fursky. Both those are just receiver and stabilizer only, no return to home, and those go for about, in January 2020, those go for about $25 to $30, okay? So there you go, guys. I hope that helps maybe clear up some misconceptions about what the different things are and how they work together, why you'd use them or why you'd pick one over another. Uh, if the information has been helpful to you, I definitely would appreciate your subscription down there at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. If you're a subscriber to the channel and you haven't hit that notification bell, you want to make sure you do that too so when I post material, you know about it and you can come and check it out. All right, that's all I've got for tonight. I hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy.